peace be among all of you watching me hello guys so actually i want to show you step by step on how to deal with mycoplasma galiseptical and this video might be in pieces so i hope you will enjoy okay so here is where i pick my food the word says a tupa mabaki atakula hapa asante means uh, kindly throw the leftover feeds in here and like you can see i am one lucky idiot so this is some of the feed that we shall actually uh give to our bird and exactly you can see it is just next to the dustbin so in the dustbin this is where they throw the waste but in here they throw the leftovers okay so we shall be going to the where actually the bird stays So this is where my birds stay and uh, I want to go and pick the sick one. So the sick bird is actually in this room. Here she is. She's trying to peck on feed. This is our sick bird. That is her. So the eye is closed. And that's exactly what you want to kill. But you can see that. She's still with the rest, but the rest are okay. So she will be staying here. I need to do some adjustments of at least changing this light bar and making sure that there is a lot of warmth. Already the light has changed and it's about uh, 60 centimeters above the ground. And already you can see one of the healthy birds. They have already started feeling the warmth and no wonder they are scratching and they'll start doing sun bathing. And uh, that is the bird we want to help, so we shall pick her up and go with her to our labs. Alright, so we have to make sure that that eye is clean and we will need some warm water, of course with a towel, and that is exactly the next step. As we wait for the water to boil, let us uh, go to my computer and of course learn a little bit about what? Mycoplasma galiseptical, which is of course our case today. So we go to Mycoplasma galiseptical. You have to be very precise because also Mycoplasma can affect uh, human beings and cause uh, pneumonia in the lungs. Okay, that's a lung disease. So let us be specific, Mycoplasma galiseptica, and this affects the chicken. So there are a lot of links, blah, 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 but I just prefer going to the uh, Wikipedia and uh, see what <coughs> Wikipedia tells us. So Mycoplasma galiseptica, or MG, is a bacterium belonging to the class molecules and the family Mycoplasma tracea. It is the causative agent of chronic respiratory diseases. Mycoplasma can cause disease in humans, animals, insects. So, whenever you're handling Mycoplasma galiseptica, in short, it means you need to handle with care. Okay? So, if you click on the infectious coryza, you might be confused because the images are looking almost one and the same. But the difference between Mycoplasma and infectious coryza is coryza is a virus, while Mycoplasma galiseptica it's uh it's bacterium okay yeah but though many of the images you might find them are uh, uh, being posted on uh google so you find that they are almost the same and you get confused 
which is which so whenever you are uh, just trying to type on google searching for this or that you have to be very very careful oh god chicken poop we need to wipe that out Again. Usually I just sit like this, then put the legs in between my thighs, hold the bar in place, and start working on the eye. This is just plain water. Maybe we call this chicken steaming. <laughs>
after this first step of washing the eye and the nostrils, making them they are clean, the next step is feeding the bird. That is if the bird cannot feed on its own. Okay, so I'll just get the, uh, the bucket of the leftovers and try to see whether she will eat on her own. So I'm giving her spaghetti and some beans. That is good protein and good uh, carbohydrates, of course. So what if she was not in the state of uh, in the state where she cannot feed herself? Usually I feed them myself using three fingers. So these two fingers help in the holding of the jaws in place. And then this dark finger helps me to open the mouth. And then I can feed them just directly, like I want to show you, just like that. Then uh, you put some food in there. Then the bird just swallows. Okay. Then some vegetables. They're still good. Actually, this is coincident. I had not planned uh, to get a source of carbohydrates, proteins, and um, some vitamins. And as we give her, you have to keep on filling the, the crop so that you can understand whether she's full and you can start with the medication, okay? can see already the crop is uh, somehow full the crop is okay so after that now that uh, we have washed the eyes, we have opened the nostrils, at least she can breathe without having to open the mouth. She has eaten, she's good for medication. So the next thing is making my own traditional medicine. Okay? And the first thing you need is uh, the red onion and the rest of the stuff. If you want the medicine, click on the number, call this number below here. here. Okay? Click on the number below here. 
here. <laughs> click on the number. Click on the number below here. Call that number and then you know how to get this organic solution. So I want you to take uh, a very close uh, you know, view of this bag. Just make sure it is this one. So that whenever uh, I'll be showing the next video on how it has recovered, you will at least be able to tell that this is the bag and not that like there is some camera tricks or I changed the bag. So you need to check on this bag completely here, okay? Our concussion is almost ready. You can see there are some lemons, some garlic, red onion. Then of course my two secret agents, ingredients, not agents, two secret ingredients. Just something very small. I actually love the smell of this. Mm. Just add some flavor. So let's give our medicine and give the bath. So for preservation of such organic medication, you can add honey to it. Uh, like this one, you can make up to like three, five liters from just these uh, little amounts that I've shown you uh, of medication. Then you can be giving, if it's mass, uh, uh, many bags, you can be giving like uh, 100 ml in three to five liters of water just to prevent. And if they are sick, you can uh, uh, you can add up up to 200 ml. But for individuals, uh, individualized attention of such an individual bag, then you need to go to the syringe mode, of course having cut the top that holds the needle, so that you do not cause some damages whenever you are adding some, okay? Just like that. Hold the bag in position again.
that's how you give medication to the birds. So that one is enough. Then the remaining amounts until tomorrow. And this one is also good if you have a bloaty stomach. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let us continue praying for this bird as we heal it using organic organic using organic medication and I hope that you've enjoyed my video. You hit that like button. Hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao. See you in the next one.